Hello YouTube and welcome to a new C Sharp tutorial. So what we're going to do in this tutorial compared to the last tutorial is we are going to make a one user login form. Now if you don't know what this is you'll see when you go on but it's really really simple and I'm going to sh start by opening up our project we made last tutorial. So if you didn't see our last tutorial you may want to go and check it but if you're familiar with C Sharp just basically create a new project and it should be all half ready because that's all we did. So, for those of you who have watched the previous tutorial, open up a new project, and once it's loaded, you should see what we did last tutorial. So we put loads of stuff on, and um, I showed you some new stuff, but let's actually start. So I'm going to delete the list box, because we never used it anyway. And I'm going to delete um, the text box, the progress bar, and the checkbox, just so we have that. Yes? Easy. So what I'm going to do is find a label from the toolbox and drag it on. And just roughly put it, say, here. And we'll type in the text for it in the properties. Right click properties if you haven't got it up. And we'll simply type uh, username. Just like that. And I'm going to copy it. So right click copy, right click paste. Copy it. And underneath it, uh, about there, I'm just going to type password. You don't have to have the colon on the end. I just like putting the colon on the end. Uh, don't do that. And what I'm going to do is scroll down again in our toolbox and try and find a text box here. So I'm going to put it roughly next to it so we've got that and I'll stretch it across. There we are. So in here I'm going to call it the name wise, not the text. We'll call this username box. That'll do. And I'll copy it again, so right click copy, right click paste. And I'll roughly put it under it, then re put everything where it needs to be. And we'll say password box was that a capital U? No. there we are so we have two now I've got a submit button here so I'm going to drag it a little bit under it and I'll drag it up there easy right so uh, we can just put it up here and I'm going to change what this label says so instead of um, hello and welcome by the bar we'll type in please type your details to log in click off boom Please type your details to log in, select everything, put it in, align everything. There, so we have, perfect. So the user types in a username, a password, and click submit. Perfect. So if we double click the submit button, let's see what it does so far. So when we click it, it changes main text to ouch, stop poking me. Okay? But let's change that. So instead of ouch, stop, stop poking me, we're going to type. Um, nothing yet we'll just delete these that'll do delete those so what a one person username um, login form is is it you manually put in the username and password then you just use it to log in every time we will eventually make it better so you can create accounts blah, 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 blah. really easy to do but don't worry about it for now so in submit button what we're going to do is create something called an if statement and if you don't know where it is basically one line of it is if this thing happens the next line is perform this action really simple so what we want to do is say if username boxes dot text is a certain name and the password is a certain text or name then check do something easy enough so when we double click when we click the submit button we need to type if and then you put an open normal bracket and in here, we're going to begin typing. So we're going to say, username underscore box. So username underscore box, just press enter. There we are. Um, then we're going to, we need to get the text property, just like we edited last time. So we're going to put dot, and then we're going to find text, which is there. Perfect. So then after that, I'm going to put two equals. Because if you put one equals, it's setting it. But two equals always means grab the data and check so if it does equal set it as it's really good so if it equals and then in these speech marks two of them we're gonna put what username is so we'll say YouTube just like that and you can have capitals numbers anything close the brackets off and then on the next line put a curly brace and then another curly brace just like that so in here we'll simply type uh, user box here so we'll grab main text main text dot text 
equals hello. Well, successfully logged in. Simple, right? So let's try it. So when we click the submit button, it won't do anything until we click it. So when we click it, if it equals YouTube, it'll do it. Really simple. So we could type in, I don't know, Dan, click submit, nothing happens. We type in YouTube, click submit, successfully logged in. Perfect. So now let's add the password to it. So, um, this is going to be an open password box. I'm not going to complicate things by showing you how to start it out yet. We can do it though. It's really, really simple. You just simply type it in there. But hey, so what we're going to do after this, where it says YouTube and speech mark, I'm going to press space and find the and symbol there and put two of them in. And then you can put a whole other if statement in. So if you just copy that line and paste it in, in the same brackets as you can see, so if username box dot text equals equals YouTube and and password box dot text equals equals what should we call it? Uh, videos. There we are, capital V videos. Then it'll say successfully logged in. Really simple, right? So we've got a kind of login box now. So if I type anything and anything, it won't do anything until we do. So if we type in YouTube and then videos successfully logged in perfect so now let's create an error message so when you type something wrong in or something's wrong it says warning this is not incorrect this is incorrect simple right so what we're gonna do is remember when I said you have an action so if this is true or false then do this well you can also add on to it otherwise do this so if this is true or false do this, otherwise do this. And it's called else. So if we press enter after this bracket, you can type else and then put your brackets in, your curly braces. And now in here we put what we want otherwise. So if we copy main text and put it in here, main text dot text equals error. Username or password is incorrect. So don't forget, in these speech marks, you can type anything you like. If you type in Jason there and, like, uh, phone there, I don't know, and you press it, it'll work. If you type in Jason pa phone, obviously. So in here, if we type YouTube and cheese, click Submit, Error, Username or Password, Incorrect. And you could keep typing things and typing things, and it will always say it's incorrect until you type videos. Boom. Easy, right? So let's add a better password just to test things. So videos, underscore, then there we've got a symbol. Then we'll say two. Then we press underscore again. Then we put an at sign. Videos two, underscore. So it's a very secure password now, according to most of the online weird stuff. So if we type in YouTube and videos, underscore two, underscore at. Successfully, not logged in apparently. So look, I missed the S off videos successfully logged in perfect right so that's pretty much all I'm going to show you I will show you how to password it out so in password char simply put what you want so I'm going to put a star sign you go back in and that's for the password by that da, da, da. easy right so we'll say YouTube videos underscore two underscore at logged in I've spelled it wrong of course videos underscore two underscore at successfully logged in there we go so you can put anything you want you, you can even confuse people and put a or put capital a so you can see a a a a people think you're just typing a a a a and you know or you can put multiple ones if you really like so we'll say dan okay apparently you can't put dan no mind then we'll just say a yeah so the people think you're typing a but you're not you secretly type something else Username, no wait, oh yeah, never mind, password. See? And it'll still work, obviously. But that's all I'm going to show you today. So, next tutorial, what I don't know what we'll do, we'll probably load another form. So, load another one of these when you actually log in, so you can be doing something. Then we can just expand our application and have games and other stuff. Do really cool stuff. So, thank you for watching, I really hope you liked it. If you're liking this C-Sharp series, well, the first video, second video, hit the thumbs up and I'll carry on doing it. Thank you for watching. Check out my other videos. You may like them. 
I'll see you next time.